Hello, this is Nora Jarp, and welcome to a Ultimate Team player review. Today we have the second inform Inla, and he plays for Napoli in the Syria. He is Swedish, and there you can see his card face stats: 72 pace, 81 dribbling, 81 shooting, 82 defending, 85 passing, and finally 75 heading. There you can see his prices on Xbox: it's 24k. 30k on the PlayStation and 100k on the PC. So first of all, those card face stats. He looks like an all-rounded uh, center attacking mid or CM, but there's a lot more to him than that as we go into the clip analysis. So first of all, we're going to talk about his passing. He's got 89 long passing, 87 short passing, and combined with 88 ball control, he really, really is good at feeding the balls into the strikers. And with a cam, you definitely need that. And so now we move on to the second clip analysis. We're going to talk about his skills. He's got three star skills and four star weak foot. And in a cam or a CM, you don't really need uh, four star skills. It will be an added bonus, but you could do simple skills, for example, like the roulette or the body feints. And sometimes they are the most effective. Here you can see he's got 82 dribbling in game. And you don't really need to do too many skills if you're playing him in the CM role. So that's not too bad. Interceptions, uh, he's got 88 interceptions, 89 standing tackle, so he definitely can defend. Um, I did start off playing him in, uh, in the CDM, but he wasn't getting involved too much, but he definitely can just stop the strikers getting through. And he's got a medium attacking work rate and a medium defensive work rate, so you can play him basically any uh, midfielder role. Now we're going to talk about his long shot and his uh, shot power. There you can see, for example, his long shot. He's got 96 long shots in game and 99 shot power. And those two stats combined just make him absolutely amazing when you're striking the ball. There you can see an uh, example of that shot power hitting the bar and Mikkel is there to tap that in. So now we're going to go on to the goals. There you can see Inla has the composure just to put that into an open net. And he's got the placement as well to make sure that that doesn't go wide. Here you can see he's got good attacking uh, positioning i think he's got 82 uh, positioning so he definitely is making those runs a nice through ball there from pato into inless path and he puts that away and again he's just got really really good ball control he's got 88 ball control in game and so with that he's going to have a really nice first touch he's going to take it under control and he's going to dispatch that with his amazing shot power there you can see a replay of that the keeper does get hand to it but because he's got such power on it the keeper couldn't keep it out Again, we've got an example of a bit of dribbling there. He gets the ball, he takes a touch. He, uh, the defender thinks he's going to go one way, but he goes the other. You can see a replay of that. He just takes it, cuts back inside, and with that amazing shot, it's really, really rarely going to go wide. So I've talked a lot about the good points about Inna. I'm going to talk about a kind of a disadvantage of him, his pace. He only has 72 pace. I haven't talked about that yet. But the reason why I still think that pace is not too bad at all is because he has 83 strength. And a lot of players, you know, they got amazing pace, but they've got really weak strength. And so the players are going to just uh, push them off the ball. But he has 83 strength, and that means that he's going to push and pull. He's not going to get muscled off the ball. And that is an awesome thing about Inlet as well. So now we're going to go on to the overview part. This is where I'm going to talk about the good and bad points. So first of all, the good points about Inlet, he's got an absolute amazing shot. With those 96 long shots and 99 shot power combined, they are so good and probably one of the best that I've played uh, so far in Ultimate Team. He's got solid passing, as I said, with the 89 long passing and the 87 short passing. He's going to play those balls into the uh, strikers. Also, great defensive heading stats if you're looking to play him in a CDM. The only bad point I could really find was I'd like him to be a bit fast. If he ever gets a, another inform, he would probably be the best all-rounded player because of the pace, the shot, the tackle. And yeah, so he is just a really pleasure to play with. And I highly recommend him. You go out and try him. He also is in the Serie A, so he's definitely a player that can play um, in really good teams. So guys, that is the end of the review. If you did enjoy it, leaving a like rating would be awesome. Leave a comment down below with your thoughts on this new setup. And make sure you also leave a comment with the next player you think I should do a review on. I do have a special blue team of the year card coming out very soon. Make sure you look out for that. And I'll see you guys next time for some more reviews. Goodbye.